this is Aaron with iBoard Data Recovery and I believe in providing the most comprehensive and complete iPhone data recovery service possible. In this video I will show how your data is organized and presented to you once you receive it. Once you receive your package, you're going to have one or two flash drives inside. In this case we have two USB flash drives. This one holds your iPhone backup, which looks like this. This folder is important because it is how you will transfer all of your data to the new iPhone that you get. I'll revisit how to use this backup later in the video. For now, we'll look at the parsed out user data. We have a few folders to click through and you will find it here. To make the process most convenient for the customer, multiple versions of photos and videos have been included. For pictures in the original format, you'll click on photos and you'll see the .hgic file extensions. These are highest quality, but less widely supported and they aren't actually dated, so they can be hard to sort the same case is for videos here. Pixinvid's dated has JPEGs and they're actually dated so you can find easily what you're looking for if you have something specific that you need to find. Any app data that can be found will be included. They have audios, documents, photos, and videos. Also is the more basic data, like calendar contacts, messages, notes, reminders, bookmarks, voice memos, and voicemails. In this case, this customer did not have that much data. I think it was about 50 gigs. Some customers will have WhatsApp and WeChat, which would normally be included if it's on the phone. All of this data is here in viewable, but to get it back in the easiest format, it's best to just use your iPhone backup and put it onto a new phone. To do that, we'll head over to the iPhone backup. And this backup is always going to be a long stream of numbers and letters like this. It might look a little bit different, but it's always just letters and numbers jumbled together. So we can use this backup to restore straight through iTunes, but we need to put it into the right location on our computer first. And I'll show you the easiest way to do that. Come down to your search bar, type in percentage, app data percentage, hit enter. This will bring up a new window. Click Apple Computer. Click Mobile Sync. Click Backup. If for some reason that backup folder isn't there, it's most likely because you've never used iTunes before. If that's the case, you want to plug in your new iPhone into iTunes and start a backup on it, even if there's nothing on it. That will create the folder for you. If you're going to be using a Mac, I actually have another video that explains the process for that. Once you're here, go ahead and just drag and drop your backup into this folder. So in this case, it's 51 gigs and it says it's going to take about 15 minutes to transfer. If you have a lot more data, up to 500 gigs or a terabyte, as some people do now, it could take a lot longer to transfer, so keep that in mind. Once this process is complete, you'll be able to restore your phone through iTunes.